started many years ago, 100,000 years ago, people actually identified themselves with jewelry. You had a special jewelry. Even the Vikings, they had a very special amulet, I don't know how you say it, where you could see which family clan you were and all this stuff. Time went, then you saw people with tattoos actually having a specific identification. Uh, then the Romans came and could give you a written census, passports, the first photo, 1840, personal number in the uh, Netherlands, 1849. The first time the fingerprint actually was used to identify the person was in 1870. But then suddenly, yeah, social security number cards, and you should have the ATM two-factor authentication. But what I would like to show here is that we always were using an object to tell who you are. Just to show you, the same thing will happen with the face. So what happened with the fingerprint, which is a biometric solution, face is the next one. You will be able to pay, you will be able to log in, you will be able to access. And this is already happening. I want to show you a few examples where it's been used today. So the first example is the American fast food chain KFC who has introduced Smile to Pay. It's a payment solution that uses facial recognition and allows its customers to pay for the meals with a smile. Uh, this was introduced in 2017 in one restaurant in China. One year later, 300 other restaurants uh, implemented this, this solution and um, which shows how great success it is for the user convenience. Another example is Breeze. It's a biometric recognition system that was introduced on Mobile World Congress in Barcelona this year. So Mobile World Congress is the largest mobile event in the world. So Biometrics has um, automatically been a big part of that show for many years. And um, showing that they are actually using Biometrics to entry all of their access points shows that this technology is going to be the future. Here is a short video that we want to share with you, uh, which describes how we believe that Biometrics will evolve the next coming years. Soon, biometrics will be everywhere. And this is just the beginning. Most people with a smartphone already use fingerprint technology for identification, not just for unlocking their phones, but also for payments. It's easier and more secure than pins and passwords. Fingerprint biometrics is also paving the way for other types of biometrics, such as face, eye, voice, behavioral, or even a combination of these. Biometrics is fast expanding beyond our phones and self-identification, finding its way into our homes, cars, even in what we're wearing, for use in surprising new ways that offer increased personalization, streamlined interactivity, and even greater convenience and security. Precise Biometrics, verified by you. took advantage of its 20 years of experience in this business and has developed a solution they call Precise Unique. It's a biometric platform that combines multiple biometrics to ensure a digital identity. Around now the biometrics, we have other technologies, for example, velocity, light conditions, timing, position that you can add on it and you will have a multimodal biometric system. Example now, in a big real estate, if you want to enter to get your bike, maybe a simple face is okay. But if you would like to go in another place that is more sensitive, maybe you should utilize more biometric sensing so you can increase security. The biometrics will, is the best way of identifying a person and also the most natural way. That is why it fits so well in our everyday lives and um, in our everyday behavior. So this short video 
is a great example of that. So we are so happy to see you all here today. We are happy to answer your questions and if you believe that your company or workplace would be interested in biometrics, please invite us and we will come and tell you more. Thank you. Thank you.